Back in December 2018, SBS, the Special Broadcasting Service, put out an article on immigration that says that 82% of Australians support immigration. Now that's a big number. And it doesn't quite ring true of my experience as an Australian who lives in Australia. So let's have a look at this. 82% of Australians support immigration despite population concerns. A report by the Scanlon Foundation found more than four in five Australians see benefits to immigration, but concerns remain around overcrowding and house prices. The survey, which canvassed the views of 1,500 randomly chosen Australians, also found 52% of Australians consider the current intake of migrants either about right or too low. But 43% took the view that the immigration intake was too high, up from 37% last year. The finding is the highest since 2010 when it peaked at 47%. 82% in the headline, but 52% further on think it's about right or too low. How exactly do you reconcile these two numbers? How do you reconcile that 43% think that immigration is too high with 82% support for immigration? In the article, there's also a survey. SBS News Poll. Do you think Australia's current intake of migrants is too low? 28%. About right? 21%. Too high? 51%. Even an SBS poll shows 51% think immigration is too high. SBS, whose charter it is to support multiculturalism. As I went through the article, I thought, recognize the author of this report. I've seen him reporting this type of thing before. The article calls him a researcher from Monash University, which is a bit of a letdown. In reality, he's Professor Andrew Marcus, head of the Australian Centre for Jewish Civilization. Professor Marcus has served on a number of panels, delivered numerous public presentations and keynote addresses, and these include the Research Institute on Social Cohesion, the Inclusive Brisbane Board, Parliament of Australia Senate Select Committee on Strengthening Multiculturalism, Settlement Service International, and the list goes on. Let's be honest, the man is a stereotype, and no one forced him to be one. Instead, he chose. But there is another thing here. At the start of the article, it mentions a group called the Scanlon Foundation. Who are they? Turns out the Scanlon Foundation was founded in 2009 by Peter Scanlon, who's worth about 600 million Australian dollars. And he just loves immigration. The website is quite clear on what it's about. The Scanlon Foundation aspires to see Australia advance as a welcoming, prosperous and cohesive nation particularly related to the transition of migrants into Australian society. This article, Scanlon Backs Population Growth, is from 2009. It also happens that Mr Scanlon has intensive property development interests which clearly benefit from immigration fueled high population growth. Yeah. Turns out Peter Scanlon is also a stereotype, a right liberal who just cannot see any downside to immigration and big money. One of those business types who thinks that every silver cloud has a silver lining. A good old-fashioned liberal who believes that borders stop people from making money and that no damn barrier should exist between the movement of money and people. We don't have a country anymore. We have something better. An economy. The right liberal stereotype finances a study that proves we just love the same thing that he loves. The Jewish academic stereotype writes it all up and presents it for public consumption and the public broadcaster, who takes our money, but which has never been on our side, presents it all as fact. When it comes to immigration, the pause never ends.